Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and this is Tricky A-Level Question, of which today there are two. Buy one, get one free. Fantastic. Um, shout out to Charlie R for recommending I do circles, and shout out to Pioneer for recommending I do AS questions. So this is both uh, AS and A2 topic. Um, and if you do find it useful, please do like the video. I really appreciate it. And also subscribe if you're not already for more A-Level content. Right, let's get into the question. Uh, right, so um, we have that we've got a circle, it touches the x-axis, and the center is right here at 9 minus 6. Um, and that means that the radius is going to be the distance that the y coordinate has traveled down. So it must be 6. And we know our equation of a circle is x minus the x-coordinate of the center squared plus y minus the y-coordinate of the center. So therefore, that becomes plus 6. All squared is equal to the radius squared, which is 6 squared, which is 36. Perfect. Easy free marks, that. And now it says that there's a line L which is parallel to the x-axis, and the line L cuts the circle at two points, P and Q, and the distance of P and Q is 8. Okay, so it says give two possible equations for L. Well, there will be two lines because let's say right there, that is P and that is Q, and that has a distance of 8. Well, there will be by symmetry another line down here, which will also have P, Q, and that will also be 8. So how am I going to work out um, the Y um, distance of these lines? Well, I'm going to put a dot in the center, and I'm going to draw a line to Q, or P, and I'm going to draw a line straight down, and I'm going to make that a right angle. So let's have a look at this triangle over here. It will look like this, and that will be a right angle, and the width of the triangle at the top will be half of 8, will be 4. And we also know that this distance here will be the radius, which is going to be 6. So then we can work out this distance, let me call it x here. By Pythagoras, we would have that x would equal the square root of the hypotenuse squared minus the shorter side squared. So x is equal to the square root of 36 minus 16, which is 20, which is the same as 2 root 5. Okay, great. So that distance there is 2 root 5. So this equation will be the center point, which has y coordinate of minus 6. And then we will need to add on that 2 root 5. So this will be minus 6 plus 2 root 5. And this one down the bottom will be the center point, And then we will need to take away 2 root 5. So this will be minus 6 minus 2 root 5. And there it is. Those are the two possible equations for the line. And here it is. Next question. Um, and you, they're, they're, it might, might not look like a circle question, but I'm going to show you how you can solve it using circles. So definitely give this question a try because it is a tricky one. And then here is the solution. Part A, we need to find in a term y is equal to mx plus c, the equation of line 2, where line 2 is perpendicular to line 1 and passes through this point. Okay, it should be quite straightforward that. We will need to um, find the perpendicular gradient, m2, which will be minus 1 over the gradient um, of the original line, which is 2, so it's just minus a half. And we know a point already, so we do y minus y1, which is 3, is equal to m x minus x1, which is minus 2. So let's simplify this, multiply out these brackets, because they want it in y equals mx plus c. So minus a half x, and that's plus 2 times by minus a half is minus 1. So y is equal to minus a half x, add the 3 over, plus 2. Okay, straightforward that. Okay, part B um, says that we've got two points on line 1 
such that if I were to draw a triangle with A, it would make an isosceles triangle. So let's imagine where these points might be. We might have one point here and one point here. And if I were to draw a triangle like this, these lines would be the same distance. And, and then it tells you what that distance is, and it says show the x-coordinates of points B and C satisfy this equation. Okay, well what I'm going to do is I am going to draw a circle around A. That's going to go through those two points like that. And I also know those two points are on this line here. So I know that these two points are on the line y equals 2x minus 1. And they're also on the circle, which has center um, minus 2 in the x, and 3 in the y, and radius, when squared, 2 root 13 squared will be 4 times 13, which is 52. OK, great. So these two points must satisfy the simultaneous equation which I would solve by putting the green one into the yellow one. So let's do that then. Uh, I'd write x plus 2 all squared plus y I'm going to replace with a 2x minus 1 and then minus 3 makes minus 4 squared equals 52. I'm going to expand these brackets x squared plus 4x plus 4 and over here I will get 4x squared, I will get a minus 8x and another minus 8x, so minus 16x, and I will get minus 4 times minus 4, which is plus 16. That's equal to 52. Collect up the x squareds, I've got 5x squareds. Collect up the x's, I've got uh, minus 16 plus 4, which is minus 12. And the number terms, I've got plus 20. And then when I minus the 52 to make it equal to 0, that's going to give me um, minus 32. Perfect, as, they, as they've asked for. OK, let's grab some more space. OK, and my, my top tip for part C is that you can do this part of the question without doing any of the previous two parts. And it's also worth four marks. When I gave this, to, this question to some of my students um, a, a while ago, so many people left this part blank when really it's just as simple as solving a, a quadratic because they were unable to do part, um, part B. So a top tip is just to always see um, a next part of questions as, um, as a different question which can be solved. Okay, let's, let's do it then. So it says that part uh, B lies in the third quadrant. Well, the, um, the first quadrant is this one, and then it goes around anti-clockwise, like this. So the third quadrant is right over there. We would need to solve this quadratic. I could do it by using the AC method, because um, I don't have my calculator. So 5 times minus 32 is minus 160, and B is equal to minus 12. So two numbers that times together to make minus 160 and add to make minus 12 are minus 20 and plus 8. And then uh, the A term is 5, so I write 5x, 5x, all over 5, and I put those numbers in, minus uh, 20 and plus 8. I could divide this by 5, this left bracket here, to get x minus 4, 5x plus 8 equals 0, which gives me x equal to 4 and x equal to minus 8 over 5. Now this quadrant here, the x will be negative, so therefore I can reject this one and only focus on this one. And we know also that this coordinate is on um, the line, uh, because we had this isosceles triangle uh, so this point here was B, so it's on line L. So it's, if it's on line L, then the Y coordinate is equal to 2 times the X coordinate minus 1, because it's on line L. And this is going to give me uh, minus 16 over 5 minus 1, 
which is the same as uh, minus 16 over 5 minus 5 over 5, which is minus 21 over 5. And there we have it. Uh, I hope you found that useful. If you did, please do like the video. Please do subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. And also, just remember that top tip. Make sure that you see every single question, every sub-question, as a new question which could be solved. And don't give up, even if you can't do parts A and B. Bye for now.